Runk. <laughs> Hey, hey, what's up? I'll be in Oxnard this weekend, Friday and Saturday, Oxnard, California. Get your tickets at chrislea.com. Sacramento is up. Uh, Brea, California is up. Phoenix, Arizona, El Paso, Albuquerque. And then I got some more dates on, on sale here. Kelowna, BC. Vancouver, BC. Rochester, New York. Uh, I got it, dude. Uh, Kitchener, Ontario. Um, Shreveport, Louisiana, Houston, Texas, Corpus Christi, March 16th, never been there, uh, Durham, North Carolina, and Norfolk, Virginia, Norfolk, you can't, I think, it sounds like F-U-C-K, but it's not, um, so yeah, there you have it, that's where I'm gonna be, coming up, go to chrislea.com to get tickets, new dates, and it is all new stuff. It is not from Grow or Die, my special, which you can get at chrislea.com. So go watch that now, and then you can still come to the shows. It's That's two different hours. Um, I work hard because I want to make people happy. You know, it's good, and it's also, it, it also, you know what I mean? It's an insecurity, but I want to make people happy. So, um, yeah. I want, I want people to think I'm good enough is basically what it is. But anyway, getting too deep to, to in this ad for my shows. But yeah, go to chrislea.com. And then also get merch. we got the Grow or Die merch coming in uh, strong. It's good. People are starting to repost this stuff. It looks great on you. So go to chrislea.com for all your needs. No matter what need you have, really. Uh, and also, this is the new episode of Congratulations. You know, we, um, I did the, uh, well, we got it. Well, I'll, no, here, update. Well, let me do an update. Look, Christmas is coming up. You know, my wife goes absolutely nutty when it comes to putting garland and different lights in places and, you know, candy canes. Candy cane. What's that from? The, that one, that one horror movie. Candy cane. Um, and, uh, so we have, I don't know how many Christmas trees, honestly. I really don't. Was it one, two? We have two up, but there are more in the garage. Jeez. Anyway, she was like, "Let's get, let's go get one." And I, because we have fake ones, because have fake Christmas trees, because real one, it's weird to bring a real Christmas tree inside. Now, it's also weird to bring a fake one inside, right? Trees should only be outside. Jim Gaffigan has that funny bit about Christmas where it's like, "Why do you bring the outside inside?" I don't know what it is. It's I, you know, and um, but it's true. Like, why? That's so weird to put all the, oh yeah, yeah. He says you put all the stuff inside, outside on the front lawn and all the trees inside. Yeah. But it's like weird. And then, and then people will put a fake tree. I don't know if he, this is part of his bit or not, but you put a fake tree, which is even weirder, but it's better because at least it won't catch on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like trees are so flammable because that's literally what you put in the fire to create a fire. Oh, the fire's going out. We'll put more trees in it. So putting a f- 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 a tree in the living room, it's a bad idea, especially because you usually put it next to the fireplace. I feel like I'm doing Jim G- Gavigan's bit. I don't know if this is close to it or not. I saw it years and years ago, but it's very odd. And uh, I was hip with the fake trees. And now, of course, my wife is like, how do you want them decorated? And I say, well, I like them when they're green and when they have all the, f- the ornaments that m- are all different from the families." You know, we put them together and we, they look, it looks mismatched and everything. So she got a white tree and decorated it like a Macy's, like Macy's tree with, with just like all gold balls and red balls. And, and so, and what do we do with the, with the, with the ornaments? And I had to put my big mouth where, where I'm like, well, you know, we didn't use the ornaments. And she was like, but don't you like it? I'm like, I do like it. My favorite kind of Christmas tree is the green one where we can, you know, and she was like, you don't like it. I'm like, I love it. It looks great. It just looks like. You know, it would be in Macy's, which is beautiful. Macy's wants it to look good. That's the whole reason why it's in Macy's. And then she's like, well, uh, her answer, I open my big mouth. Well, you know, what do we do with the other ornaments? She's like, well, let's go get a real tree. So now we got another tree. That's a real tree that just got delivered. And let me tell you this, man. By the way, trees are just like, it, it's like, it's crazy that you spend hundreds of dollars on, on the tree and them delivering it and everything like that. And they just come and, and it's just like, you could go get one 
for free, you know? Um, but anyway, it, it, it was actually such a magical moment bringing Calvin and Billy to the, um, I mean, Billy didn't really know what was going on. He's eight months old, but Calvin was just like loving running around into the tree. Which one, which one do you want to pick? He was like, he was like, oh, I don't know. I mean, we were like, we'll pick one. He finally picked one and my heart was swelling up, but we went to, uh, we went there and then we came back and then they couldn't deliver it that night. So they delivered to delivered it today. Anyway, so we have another Christmas tree, which is great. And we've got to decorate it. So that's great. And so that only means that the ornaments that we put, we brought back downstairs to not use. We've got to bring back upstairs again. So, and yes, dude. And I got, here's the thing. I opened up my big mouth saying, what are you doing to my wife when she was bringing the ornaments back downstairs? She says, I'm bringing the ornaments downstairs and you're not helping. Why don't you help? And I was like, oh, fine. I open my big mouth. Dude, I have to, you know what I got to stop doing is opening my big mouth. That's what I have to stop doing is opening my big mouth. But I opened my big mouth, dude. Because I'm a comedian and it's my job. And now I have 350 episodes of this Congratulations podcast and other podcasts. I talk so much. It's all documented and it's all bad. I don't need to be talking so much. And I do hours of stand-up and it's like, dude, my whole job is talking. And it's like every now, every day I just becoming a monk and just being taking that vow of silence seems better and better. And I would like to do that except for there's no way I could do that. You know why? Because I get pissed off. And why? Because I have to explain myself. And why do you have to explain yourself? Because I want people to understand me. And why do people have to understand me? You know why? We just get to the point where I go, because. You know, I was talking to my therapist and she's like, well, you have you don't like to be misunderstood. And I go, and I'm like, yeah, I, know, I don't like to be misunderstood. I hate to be misunderstood. You know? And you got to let that go. You got to let that go, dude. And I don't mean to be like a Steve Harvey show right now, but, you know, you got to let that go because people are going to misunderstand you no matter what. Uh, uh, but it's, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I just, I want to, like the other day, I've been talking about junk food with, with you know, it's so, dude, you know how easy it is to give your child shit food? You know why? Because it's around. And you know what's not around? Stuff that's good for you. It's just not. Even if you go and you go to like a nice market where you're like, oh, let's get the nice snacks. Any snack is like bad for you in a package, you know, unless you're just going to get like, what, 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 you know, okay, what you want fucking uh, cucumbers, right? But my son's not going to eat that shit. Like, what is he, a, a jungle boy, you know? Like, what? No. So he's like, I want a cliff bar. So I, you know. I, so Kristen's like, well, what do you think? You want to give him a cliff bar? And I'm like, nah, I don't think so. Maybe you got to eat something healthy, you know, because you eat the ice cream cake because it was somebody's birthday earlier. So don't eat the, you know, remember I said you can't have a cliff bar. So he's like, all right. So she said, well, what about uh, apples and uh, peanut butter? And I go like this. Well, peanut butter is junk food, you know? And he says, no, I just want peanut butter. And she says, okay. And I was like, well, no. Oh, but before that, she was like, want pasta? And he was like, yes. She's like, we have it with pink sauce. Do you want it with pink sauce? And he says, no, I want red sauce. And I was like, well, you shot yourself in the foot. You should have just went to go ahead and make it. You should have just made it. You had to get specific with the pasta, right? And she was like, and she was like, well, she didn't want anything. I had to give him peanut butter. And I was like, I know, but we got to start giving him something better. And I was talking about this in front of the kid. And I don't want to like, I, you know, the last thing you want to do is undermine a parent. When you're a parent, you don't want to undermine the other parent. You got to be a united front, right? So she was already like, Let, how about peanut butter? So I was like, yeah, give him peanut butter, you know? And it was all a whole mess, you know? And I dealt with it not so great, but it's like, I, you know, I just want the kid to not be a fat fuck, you know? And it's not even fat, fat on the inside, you know? Like fat in your heart. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it's okay to be fat a little bit. It really is okay to be chub chubby, not fat, but like a chubby like a, like a, not a good, it's okay to not have a good body, right? If it's, you know what it's okay. It's okay to just be a guy or a, 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 be a man or a woman. And just like, that's, you know, you're just someone, right? Like not everybody has to be ripped. I get it. 
You don't all have to look like Thor. You don't all have to look like Wonder Woman. You could just be someone out there with like a pear shape a little bit. But you still don't want to be eating this shit. The 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 like Skittles and like my son loves Skittles. The good thing is he's he's you know, he'll be like, Oh, here's four Skittles. And he's like, Oh, I get four. And it's like, Yeah, and it's like, okay, that's good. But like that that's like what for me? That's like maybe 20 for me. So it's like if I had 20 Skittles. And then my son will be like, I have a tummy ache. And I'm like, well, you know, I want to be like, you did it to yourself. But I did it to him. And I can't say you did it to yourself to a four-year-old. Because then he's going to th- be like, I'm bad. So you got to be like, well, you know, it's okay. It's probably because of the Skittles. And I'm seething inside because I'm like, well, you shouldn't be eating fucking Skittles. But mom tossed them over to you. I don't know. It's just, it's all, it's just parenting is, is, and we, and it's easy for us, you know. Because we have, you know, we're together, we have money and all this shit, but it's still the little, it's the subtle things that'll fuck you up, dude. It's the subtle things that'll fuck you up. God, it is. Wow. Subtlety, huh? Oh, subtlety, man. I don't know. I was watching uh, TV last night. I was over, I was with David Sullivan, uh, who you might know from my tour reports and, uh, and whatnot. I was with uh, him, and uh, he was like, "Man, can we watch a good thing?" And I was like, "Nah, man, we want to watch stuff that's like not that good, dude." And we could like f- be funny and laugh at it. And we passed by that mo- movie, Sound of Freedom. Is that what it is? Yeah, Sound of Freedom. And he was like, "This is supposed to be good." And I was like, "It is supposed to be good." Yeah, all right, okay, we'll watch it. I turned it on, dude. Let me just tell you, man. The whole movie. I'm just like this. I mean, it's really hard to watch. There's no like v- real violence or anything. You know, the kidnapping and it's just like, I can't believe they made that movie, to be honest. Like, it's crazy. I know it was an independent movie, but but I get like Hollywood is just like, <laughs> no, no, we, I don't know. What, what movie is that? We, <laughs> I, I, Sound of Music? I'm sorry, what? With the lady with the, 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 the hills are al- alive when she's with her skirt and the apron? Oh, I love that one. Anyway, have you seen, you know, have you seen uh, <laughs> Mickey Blue Eyes? I mean, dude, Sound of Freedom is harrowing. It was really hard to watch. I wanted to, it was like one of those movies where it's like they take all the kids, they kidnap the kids, and then it's like based on a real story. And you don't know how much of it is true. But then, you you know, it doesn't matter how much of it is true because if any of this is true, it's terrible. And then... And then you're like, you watch some of it, and you're like, I, I said to David, I'm like, I don't think I could watch this. And he's like, yeah, it's really unsettling, huh? But then it's like, you want to watch it because you want to get to the end to make sure that everyone ends up okay. You ever, like, watch a movie and, and stop watching it? <laughs> like, this is how dumb I am. I'll watch a movie that has nothing to do with me, uh, with made-up characters, like, uh, that's a fantastic movie about, like, dwarves and elves or something. And I'll start it, and I'll I'll, I'll be like, ah, I don't want to watch this. Uh, I'm gonna turn off, go to bed. I go, and I'm and in bed. I'm I'm like, I hope everybody. I, this probably works out for them. I mean, I didn't see the movie, but they, I, I hope that everybody's okay. They don't even exist. And this is a real movie that's based on a real story. And you're like, okay, I gotta see this through because I know that probably he saves her at the end. So I did. I watched it, and I'm just like, dude. And then you go on Google, and you like Google. Like these these rings of these these pedophile rings that like get broken up by by a, like the the FBI or whatever it is, and it's like, oh my god, bro, this stuff really happens, and it's like really really sad. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, you know how like crazy shit happens in the world, but it's so far removed from you that you're just like, does that really happen? Like, even, like, outbursts in, like, a bagel shop. Like, I have a friend that always has nuts stories. And he's just like, oh, you know what happened? I saw a homeless lady, and she lifted up her shirt and showed me her titties. And uh, then she got hit by a car and then rolled all over the hood and then slid down. And when she slid down on the driver's side of the car, the shirt was still up, and her her titties slipped on the... uh, Were just like, meow, (laughs) on the side of the driver's window, and... The driver just started like being like, oh God, and like pulled over and he's like, are you okay? And then he just started dating. And you're like, that didn't, that happened. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, 
you don't believe it, but you know, you're like, I guess he's not lying, but you're just like, I'm so far removed from that, that I don't, I don't believe it or not. That's just some, something that somebody said. And, uh, the whole thing is too bad. Even if it doesn't exist, it's too bad. He said it, but like, you know, this shit happens and it's just wild. You know, and you don't really think about, like, I think the normal, regular, I don't know what that even means nowadays, but the regular person who thinks, like, we had Sam Tripoli over on uh, uh, Golden Hour podcast, uh, and he was talking about all these conspiracy theories and, like, how he thought that, you know, there was an advanced civilization that was living hundreds of years ago, and they we, they got wiped out, and how, you know, whatever the, there's a bunch of different conspiracy theories. and And it's like... Now that there's the internet, it, 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 it's so weird when you start going down that rabbit hole, it activates your brain because I'm like, dude, I don't believe in, I don't believe in a lot of in most of the conspiracy theories, right? Or, you know, I'm using that term loosely. A conspiracy theories has a negative connotation, connotation. Some of them are true, but like, like the JFK one, you know, it wasn't just the one dude in the window, 900 years away with a fucking single shot. Pap. Um, you know, those kinds of things. And uh, Justin Trudeau is Fidel Castro's son. But it's like, it's like uh, the whole thing with, what was I trying to say? Like, you don't, you don't, Leah, like you start looking in, that's what the thing, they say, look into it, you start looking into it, and you go, oh, all right, well, oh, 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 really? Well, that's interesting. You start doing all that shit, and it's like 2 a.m., and you're just like, what? You start making that noise. You're like, what? You click something and you, huh? And it's grainy, but you zoom in yourself. Like you're a fucking, like you're in a, like you're Tom Cruise in a movie. I want to zoom in there. You even say it out loud. And it's just you. Hold on, zoom in there. And then you, you go like this to yourself. I'm way ahead of you. What? Oh my God. Is that him? And then it's like, I go to bed and then the next morning I wake up and I'm still buzzing off this. Like, well, what the fuck, man? How did they make the pyramids? How'd they do that though? If they, how did they do it though? If we don't know how they did it and we're way beyond them time-wise, how's that happen? So we should be able to figure it out. We should at least be able to figure out how they did it, let alone do it. We can do it, but they didn't have the technology. So it's like, huh? So then you're sitting here, you got that 2 a.m. brain and you're just like, well, what the? Huh? What's doing? Hold on. Look that up. I'm way ahead of you. What? So then I'm I'm like walking around and I'm like, dude, hold on a second, man. Hold on a second. I go, I, I'm like, TV? I'm like, cell phones? I know I'm talking to someone on the other line. And I know who that is, but they're not near me. Oh, oh, so it goes into the satellites floating in space. So that I'm like, man, all this shit. Like, if you just put me here and started telling me all this stuff, I go like this. What? So if all that can be true, then anything can be true. Dude, there's satellites that float around in space and you can talk to your friend that's downtown. And I'm just like, wait a minute, zoom in. I go, hey, I want to talk to my friend. And then in my head, I go, I'm way ahead of you. Boop, 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 boop. Hello. And I'm just like, what? So dude, something's going on. Now I'm not saying Joe Biden's a lizard and he goes into the ocean and sheds himself. Cause I don't think that that's true. But then I'm like seeing a picture of Joe Biden at the beach. And I'm like, wait a minute, zoom in. He's shiny. Is that him? I'm way ahead of you. You could just make a show, dude. Like, seriously? You could just make a show. Like that show Six Feet Under. That was a show that they just acted in and then just beamed it to us on a channel, on our box, in our fucking living room. You ever think about this shit? Like, let alone a car. Imagine if you, imagine if you 
like if the world blew up and it was the apocalypse and then you had to like start from scratch, right? There were no dealerships anymore. And, you know, GM, and was, they just, they were like, oh, we don't, we can't do it anymore. It's just too hard. And people are dying of scurvy. So let's focus on getting fruit, not Dodge Rams. You'd have to like make a vehicle, right? To get, you know, because you know they could make them. So you're like, I got to make it somehow. It would take you years to make a vehicle. Just being someone that you are right now, not a vehicle maker. Like I'm a comedian. If you were like, hey, Chris, no more cars. If you want to get down to the bottom of fucking, you know, Coldwater Canyon, then what you got to do is make a vehicle. And I go, I go, oh, fuck. I don't think I can do that. But maybe I'd be able to figure it out. Oh, figure out, okay? Now, that's cars. Talk, and the, But then I'm like, talking to my friend downtown, though? With no delay? And using a satellite? To do so? And I'm just like, okay, well, something else is going on, though, right? You're going to beam news to my eyeballs? I don't know, dude. If you were just plopped here, you'd have so many questions. And we sit here and we don't ask questions because we've been here. How nuts is that, dude? I don't know, man. Something's up. Something is up. Something's afoot, right? Something's afoot and it's not just my feet. <laughs> Man, I was doing kid jokes to Calvin the other day, and they were so bad, dude. And they were, he's not at the age where he can even really like get it yet because he doesn't know the, you know, it'll be like, hey, what did zero say to eight? And they'll be like, what? And I'll say, nice belt. And he's like, what? And I'm like, no, because, well, because zero, uh, if uh, if you take a zero and an eight, if you take a zero, then you squeeze it, then that's what it, it looks like, an eight like that, right? And he goes, oh. And I'm just like, all right, it's not working. You know, it's like, but then he was doing the thing where he was like, I'll do a joke. And I'm like, well, okay, go ahead. And he says, what is, uh, what is a car? And I'm like, I don't know. And then he'll, and then what he'll say is, no, I do the joke and then you say what it is. And I'm like, yo, okay, what is a car? And I say, I don't know. Does it have four wheels and it, it drives? And he says, I think it is. I'm just like, that's such a bad joke, you know? But it's so funny that he's doing it. So in a way, it's a good joke, right? It's not about what you say, it's how you say it. And he killed it. My son's a comedian. I love the Stalin-esque. No, no, no. You answer me. We started the, comp with the computer with 1% uh, percent, and now we're at 24%. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's just gorgeous. That's gorgeous thinking. Whatever happened to the fucking Liver King, dude? Why are we... I know I've talked about this before in the podcast, but like, dude, we just pretend... Well, not even with Liver King, but like The Rock... Like, hey, yeah, ah, you do steroids, you know? You, you do ste. Hey, dude, Liver King, you do steroids. You know why? You look like a beetle. I want The Rock to admit that he does steroids, and I want him to just be like, that's the thing, though. He probably wouldn't get any deals, though. After that, well, not 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 any deals. He would still be huge and stuff. Oh, that's the whole thing. How could you live that way? No knock on it, but like to be a brand like that and to not live authentically. And I'm not, you know, I don't know. Maybe the Rock is being that is also authentic self, but that's really weird. If it is, it can't. I mean, but just like I want the Rock to just fire off some mean tweets at some point. can't trust somebody that doesn't have a knee-jerk reaction every now and then, you know? God. But that's what me, going back to my, you know, I need to be more of a monk, right? What is Liver King doing? Let's look. Let's look at his last video. 
Do I have to sign in? Wow, I hate Instagram like that. We won't. We won't look. We will look. What's his name? Liver King. Liver King. Bro, you can't tell. Remember the AI thing? Here, let's look. To be a dominant man, a dominant dad, a dominant husband, and a dominant CEO. You to know? express my highest and most dominant form in these respective roles. This is the way of the barbarian. Liver King. Oh. It's look, somebody commented, great ideals to live by, dominate everything. And the guy's serious. Again, but you see this pupil, you see how destroyed it is? Depth perception, killing from a distance, a whole new challenge. But there's one way to overcome it. Now get the fuck out of my way. Why why does he have the music that's in like a lifetime movie when two people are on a date in it? Boom, bloop, 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 bloop. I go, dude, I I hate that shit. Like that shit with like, you know what would have that? It was Grey's Anatomy. Why do they do that? Be like, oh hey, I didn't see you there. Bloom, 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 bloom. Oh, sorry, I was just I was looking for a candy bar in the thing, but yeah, you know, you go first. Bloom, 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 bloom. Anyway. Here you go. Uh, you know, I have a question for you. Bloom, 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 bloom. Uh, yes? Bloom, 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 bloom. Uh, never, never, never mind. <laughs> bloom, 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 bloom. Okay. Bye, aye, aye. Here at AutoZone, like, why do they do... You know why? Because the show sucks. That's why. Because the show fucking sucks. You know what I'm saying? That's why. If the show didn't suck, you wouldn't have to put bloom, 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 in it, dude. Just have the scene where he can't ask her out. The thing is, I wanted to bloom, 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 It's a little hi hat that really pisses me the fuck off, too. Uh, I don't know, man. Grey's Anatomy. Maybe it's good. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. I never saw it. Uh, colapparel.com quality merch services at fall filament uh, colapparel.com go to my page if you want to purchase a 10 word ad or shout out holler dot baby slash Chris D'Elia. Um. oh god Kim Kardashian's minimalist Christmas this is the thing on BuzzFeed you know, I make fun of my 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 wife because she does so much. I, I I can't imagine. I was watching some of those decorating shows because I like to do it because like sometimes I'll put it on my wife is there. I'm like, ah, watch this shit. Maybe she'll like it. And it's like, there was what was it? Celebrity decor. I don't know what it was called. But this one guy was just like, I love decorating, and he talks like this, and he's just like, I love decorating so much, uh, and I can easily spend millions of dollars on decorating a home. My personal friends, uh, Sharon Osborne, we were working for her, and I normally wouldn't get out of bed for more than twelve million dollars, but I do it because she's a personal friend, and it's just like, holy fucking cocksucker shit. Would you? Could you imagine having a deal with a person like that? Imagine, imagine that. Oh, these chairs, aren't they delicious? Look at this. Just look at the way they turn. And the good thing is you could put them inside and face them on the inside, or you could twist them and spin them and look out on the veranda. Isn't that delicious? Uh, dude, these are real people that talk like this. Anyway, these chairs are 40 grand each. And you're like, oh, fuck. It's just so ridiculous. I don't know what the show was called. I forget what it's called. I watched a little bit of it on Netflix. And I can't, like... I get it. Look, having a decorator is good. You don't have to do all this shit. But let's see what she has. Uh, Kim Kardashian has on her thing. Um, Grace us with a... Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Kim already has... She has features a ton of lit up trees waiting outside. Okay. Kim posted a vi uh, video footage of her sitting room and hallway... It's worth noticing that 
piano music was playing in the background. He, she hires him to play festive music. Philip Cornish. Uh, she hires him to play festive music in December. Yo, that's crazy. Put on a fucking CD. Hey, get a playlist. I mean, who's 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 not okay with just Frank Sinatra just being like, oh, the weather outside is frightful. Oh my God, dude. There's all these trees in her hallway. That's cool the way it's lit up the tree. Um, beige, everything's beige, beige stoppings. Eh, sir, on Christmassy. Um, Damn, one less stocking because not Kanye's there, huh? Uh, there's a pink. Tr oh, they got so many trees. I can't show my wife this. Jesus Christ! This is the stupidest fucking article I've ever seen in my life. Hey, Buzzfeed, get it together. Uh, I can't believe I, I clicked on that. But good, good props to Kim Kardashian. Um. What? Appalachia. What did he say? What she say? Oh boy. Come on, Jada. Let Tupac rest in peace. Let him. Come on. Appalachia. What did he say? What she said? He got Appalachia. Uh, alopecia. But he did. But tell me what that is. So alopecia. I mean, you know. But tell me what that is. Uh, alopecia, dude. How come you can't say that? Appalachia. Also, he's bald. You know. Actually, no, he isn't. He has hair. Um. We ain't need to know that. But dog a legend, he's been dead 30 years. Appalachia, yeah, alopecia. But alopecia. Um, I know Albert Hughes, he recently talked about it like how they were a juice and he has stress patches, which is like a form of alopecia. And like, shares a story of like why he cut his hair off. She should have told us a will story. You're right. Talk about your husband, <laughs> baby. You married him. Okay. Tell us how you fell walking down the carpet one time and we ain't know you ain't have on no panties or something. Oh Tell you know, per got s took a turn for the pervy, right? Immediately. Listen, I'm just tell us, Will Pot gone. He got Appalachia. <laughs> Alopecia. 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 One time for everybody with Appalachia, man. You know. It was way more than one time. One time for everybody with Appalachia. Like, that's like somebody he went to school with when he was in high school. Appalachia broke his heart. Um, Racist. Uh, no, but that's this guy. I don't know. Hey, Rick Ross is fucking failing upwards, right? I mean, like, we all, we watch him as a train wreck. Him and DJ Khaled. We just, it's a train wreck, and we just keep funding it, right? I, you know, I don't know. It's like you can do that in Hollywood. You can you can be a director even and like make fucking nine bad movies and then just get a tenth one. It's crazy. These AI supermodels are getting out of control. I actually thought it was... Um, I, I saw one the other day that was... I thought it was... Uh, real and my and i was shown it and i and it was a video of someone and they were just like on the bed chilling like a hot chick just and it was and it was real and i still think it's real that's how good they're getting like i get the pictures look kind of fake because and i don't mean like because obviously you can't like catfishing is just you can't there don't ever trust anything anymore online period i think we're at that point right like, if you meet somebody, if you're on Hinge or whatever the fuck, Bumble, if that's still a thing, Tinder, if that's still a thing, you go on there and you and you meet and you see people and you just, you, you kind of have to go off of their bio because you know they're not going to look the way they are unless they're like super, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. No, not even unless anything, unless they don't look good because then they're like, oh, well, they didn't even try to do a filter on it. But like, dude, they can straight up make videos of people now that are fake. Like, dude, there was a thing that they, there was a clip uh, on Supernatural that somebody sent me because I was talking about Supernatural and like, you got to wait till you get to this moment. And it showed a moment on Supernatural and it was actually so ridiculous that I was like, dude, I think that might be fake. That might be a fake thing that somebody sent me on Supernatural. Like, this is the world we live in now. 
So you could just be basically chatting to nobody. I can't believe how, like, real it looked. And they were telling me, dude, this is fake. And in the bio, it said, AI, not real. And, I, and I'm like, dude, they're fucking with us. They're real. Because I would maybe do that. Like, pretend I'm not real, but then you are real. And then you show up and just blow people's minds. It's too bad I'm already famous because if I wasn't, dude. I'd have to get super fit, though. I'd have to get more fit, right? Yeah, but whatever, dude. Who cares? I want to... Uh, I want to get super fit, but I, I, I it's just too much. It takes too much time. Sandra, congratulations on graduating. Keep up the good work, mama. Go to my page if you want to purchase a 10-word ad or shout out holler.baby slash Crystalia. Uh, yeah, dude. This is crazy, this contract. The Shohei Otani, Shohei Otani joining the Dodgers on a 10-year, $700 million contract, which is like actually crazy that any anything to do with baseball has $700 million. And I guess it's it's the Dodgers, so that's a pretty legit organization. This is the biggest contract in the world. Uh, and he is, bro, bro how, what, what was the last one? Like 300,000, 300 million, million, 400 million, maybe whatever. Yeah. Here I actually look by more than 250 million topping the 12 year, 426 million. Ah, Mike Trout. I remember that. Um, wow. This is crazy, dude. Is baseball has fucking money, huh? How about this, man? Asians figured it out in the in baseball. Remember in 90s, zero Asians. All of a sudden, they had one Asian guy and then all of a sudden some more Asian guys. And now this Japanese dude is just like, Shohei Otani goes like this. He's just like, oh, yeah, oh, we will see you. And $700 million for 10 years, dude? What is that number in Japanese? Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember. What's 10? Yeah. You. For fucking Jew years, dude? Dude, $700 million for Jew years? That's crazy, dude. Wow. Um... Anyway, he's a, like, dude, he's a pitcher and a, the best batter in the, yo, dude, you know what? This guy's my hero. And I've always loved Asians. And now he's my favorite one. So, God, imagine just, fuck. I would, dude, if you had $700 million, what would you buy? What would you fucking buy? I'd buy fucking straight up, like, you know what I would do is just get like, hmm. I would build a community of houses and I would live in one and I would have all my friends live in the other ones and we would just fucking have a good time, dude. We'd have barbecues and then I'd have a stage for stand up and, uh, you know, just kind of ball out, right? Oh, you know what I would do for real? Open a cool coffee shop in, in my house. <laughs> With employees. I know there's that joke thing that I did with like on, um, was it Fighter and the Kid where I said I got a Starbucks in my house? That went pretty viral. But like, dude, if if I had a coffee shop in my house, yo, you know how much I would love that for real? Waking up downstairs, you go into the kitchen, you go through the kitchen and there's like a lit, like a fucking coffee bean or like a Pete's coffee with, and you hear like, like grind and... Also, people can go there. Like, it's not just me and I'm alone there. It's like people that are there that like, and I get annoyed with them too sometimes where I'm like, I got to wait in this fucking line this is my house. Like, I want to be able to get like, why can't I have a fucking priority shit? And then I try to get priority, but they're like, we actually don't do that here. And I'm like, this is my house. But like, you get a manager there and like a, a barista 
and like a few other employees, and I pay for it all. I pay for the employees, and I pay for the, and then you know shipments. I pay for the shipments of the coffee, and then we do things where like they come in and they're like, oh, we we want to we, we want to test some pastries out. Does the you know, and I I have to try them, and I'm like this one, but not these, you know. And then the next day, some of the ones that I said I don't want are there, and I'm like, you guys fucked it up. And like, just, I need stuff to deal with. Basically, if I have $700 million, I want stuff to deal with in my house that would annoy me. And then like, but like, it's not part of my house, but it is part of my house. That would be dope, dude. Just a cafe. You know? My, my wife would be like, you didn't do the thing. And I'm like, sorry, I was out of coffee. <laughs> I didn't get your text. That'd be pretty dope. I'd probably still go get coffee, though. I'd probably still drive down the hill and do it because I want to be out, you know? I like driving a little bit. I would get a driver for sure, no doubt. I mean, I could probably afford a driver, but I don't want... That's the thing. You need to start making... Well, Uber, right? But I don't use Uber. But I'd want a guy that I know to do it. I don't want fucking... I don't ever want... I don't even think I have Uber on my phone. But, like, I don't ever want somebody I don't know that doesn't work for a company, not Uber. Uber is like freelance shit. Basically. I don't, I need somebody that works for a car company to pick me up. I don't want Uber, just some guy in a Hyundai with like a hoodie on listening to like Busta Rhymes to drive me to the airport. That's so weird. Um, I want a guy in a suit, right? I guess. God, I fucking came home. I had a I had a driver. I came home from the airport, and I got the 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 uh, the bags out, and the gate was opening, and it crunched his door, and it fucking flipped it backwards, and so the door was open the backwards way, like it it like the door opens, and the 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 gate was going, and it picked the door up and opened it fucking, and he had to drive home with the fucking door open the driver. And I was like, Oh my God, dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I had no idea the gate was opening and I didn't know the car was there. And he was like, Oh, it's okay. They'll deal with it, bro. They, the guy just showed up. He had to drive home like this. He had to drive home holding the door because it wouldn't shut. And I was like, dude, just let me know if there's anything I need to do, like for the claim or the insurance. He's like, it's all covered. And then I was like, that's kind of cool. You could just fuck up the cars and like not have any repercussions. You know? You could just basically get a hammer and be like, yo, thanks for the lift. Fuck a pop, pop. Ah, shit, dude. Hey, let me know if they need me. He's like, oh, well, it's covered. Ah, oh, shit, man. Sorry. Just along the door. Dude, I'll see you next time. Have that all fixed. I didn't know it worked like that. Oh, I felt bad, dude. I felt bad. And then I came home and I was like, oh, I feel so bad. And I was like, I feel like it's my fault. And my wife was like, it kind of was. And I was like, what? Dude, don't say that. I need you to be supportive. And she was like, yeah, but well, I got to tell you how it is. But it's like, but I was like, it isn't really my fault. I was just saying that. So you said it wouldn't. The guy parked too close to the fucking thing. I always want somebody's fault. I always want it to be somebody's fault, dude. God, I always want it to be somebody's fault. My wife sometimes is like, you know, it's not it's not somebody's fault sometimes. And I'm just like, I'll find out whose it is. I'll find out whose fucking fault it is, dude. Trust me. I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm like Petty Columbo. Um anyway, dude. I'm so fucking hungry, I, I can't see straight, dude. And when I'm not when I'm hungry, I get mad. And I don't like hangry too. When people that'll just make me more mad. Are you hangry? Now I'm hungry and mad. I'm hungry and angry. Hangry? Nah. I that's I don't want to mix words together like that. Fantabulous, you know. When people say stuff like that. Uh, what else is another one? Uh, it's always like exclamations. Um, fantabulous. Uh, uh, ginormous, dude. 
my 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 videographer says ginormous. I, I I had to pull him aside. I'd be like, "Yo, bro, you can't be saying that, dude. What are you Mormon? Like that's some shit that fucking Mormons think is funny. Mormons don't have the greatest sense of humor, right? Let's just call a spade a spade. I mean, uh, there are great Mormons out there, but like, how many Mormon stand-up comedians are there? You know, how many Mormon funny actors are there? You know, they mostly are just like, <laughs> oh, okay. You know, it's not like they're exactly pushing the envelope in any way. Well, I mean, with polygamy, but they don't do that. But like certain sects do. God, polygamy. You used to be able to have like four wives, like if you were a king and shit. Where in the world can you do that now? I don't know, but you can't do it in America. You know, you just can't have four wives, right? Like, isn't it like against the law or something? But like kings, you should just be like, yo, I guess what? I love this one now, so fuck it, you know? And the other wife would be like, okay, you know, as long as she, you know, okay, <laughs> my good sir. And then I, my, my question is, I wonder how fucking more annoying it is, right? Because, like, my wife is like, hey, after Christmas, let's go to the bowl game in Dallas. Mizzou's playing. And I'm like, well, how the fuck do I get out of this? Right? That, immediately. So imagine saying that to like four different women. Oh, fuck. There would be overlapping shit, you know? There's like, there's that antique conve convention, and you'd be like, oh, fuck, how do I get out of this? Well, I could say I got to go to the bowl game, but I don't even want to do that. How do I get out of that? And you know what? I just, I hope I get cancer. You know what happened, sweetie? I got hit by a truck. You did? Yeah. Do And then just run into oncoming traffic. So you don't have to do anything. I don't know how. Well, when you're the king, though, what you say goes, right? We, it would be great to get to the point to where if you were just like some guy who like was a branch manager at Wells Fargo could have like two wives. And honestly, I don't think I think women could have multiple husbands, too. Like, I'm not this isn't a sexist thing. I, in a way, I'm like. Dude, maybe it might be the shit if I if I had another husband. If we and I'll marry him too, dude. I just as long as I don't have to like jerk him or anything, just have him around. Have him bring the ornaments downstairs and then back up again when we decide to get another tree that you went to get the uh, with the other husband. And I'm just the guy at home chilling in his fucking coffee shop in his house. You know, waiting in line with the other husbands. Oh god damn it, bro! Come on, man. You got to fuck her last night. Can I just jump? Please, can I get the, I want to get four shots of espresso. And you get that stupid peppermint drink anyway, bro. You're a cuck. Well, I guess we kind of all are in a way, aren't we? That's, that's, my wife would, if she wanted to, see, that's the thing though. You think like, oh, uh, you want your wife to have another husband too, to help? Because here's what would happen. She'd get the guy, she'd get the guy who was like a little pudgy that would help. That would be like the cuddle guy and like the, oh, tell me about your feelings guy. But then she would also get an, a ball player to marry her too. And you'd have to like come home to like some fucking lineman. And you're like, God, this guy's fucking ripped. Well, linemen are fat as shit. But like, you know, a hockey player. And you're like, oh, he can fight. He's ripped. He's got such good balance. And he's just like, dude, I'm actually going to sleep in the bed tonight. And you're like, ugh. All right, I'll take the floor wide awake because you drank too much coffee and shit. You hear some long-haired fucking Adonis freak just nailing her. Ah, eh, whatever. You know what? Sometimes you choose to be mad because like my, my instinct is to be like, ah, if somebody did that, if somebody ha like had sex with my wife, I'd be like, well, oh, fuck that. But then I'm like, ah, fuck it, man. You could choose to not be angry, you know? You really could. Isn't that crazy about anger? If you just sometimes stop, like the shit you get mad at, the petty shit, if you just stop, you're like, hold up, hold up. That doesn't really piss me off if I just kind of control myself. Yo, that's bonkers. Like, I'm so hung. Well, no, that one doesn't work, huh? I'm so hungry that I'm so, and I'm so angry about it. Because food is a necessity of life. But, you know, it's not when you're just like, get cut off in traffic. You could just, and I'm getting mad thinking about it. I'm getting mad thinking about it. I did my shoulders today at the gym too. 
And that was the thing too, because it's like, that's why I'm so hungry. Cause I fucking pushed it to the limit. I did that fucking landmines, dude. I went crazy with more and more landmines. I did more and more landmines. I did so many landmines. And, uh, Then I did the battle, the battle roll. I don't know, man. I'm so fucking tired and hungry. I appreciate you guys listening, though. Honestly, I do. Dude, I think that, that this is the thing. I'm in my 40s. This is what I really honestly think. I'm in my 40s. And I think I got to the part in life where I'm just like, fucking now what, dude? 40 more years? The kid part was dope, you know? But also it was not dope, too. You had to deal with, like, people wanting to fight you and shit. Like, one time Milton, my neighbor, was like, oh, I forgot to kick your ass the other day, and then he beat me up. Like, that's something you don't have to deal with as a 20, 30, 40-year-old. But, like, life's been around. I got success. I did my thang, as they would say, right? Um, I sowed my oats. And then a few. And it's just like... Married kids, and like I love being with my kids, and that's the thing I really focus on is like my family. But then it's like, and then the what else? Because here's the thing I still love doing stand up, but it's like, so 40 more years of it though? I used to think I'd never retire, and now, dude, I'm like, oh, yo, bro, you put 50 million in the bank, <sighs> chill. So chill, dude. I'm just fucking hanging out, watching movies all day. And I'm talking about like Batman forever. Like just watching the shittiest of the shitty, eating only carbs. I don't give a fuck, bro. I get a moat. You know? A moat around my house. Like, what is life in your 40s? Because that's when you're supposed to be the shit as a man. You've got enough experience, but also you're still kind of like youngish. Oh my God. Because if I think about me in my 30s, I was a fucking dum dum, you know? I was funny and being silly and shit, but I was living like a dum-dum. And now I'm living right. But then it's also like, do I have to just keep living right for 40 more years? Oh my God, dude, you ever get one of those moments where you just got to like, you're like, oh my God, I got to step back and I just got to chill because you'll start to spin out and have an anxiety attack. I'm just having one straight up during the podcast. It's not an anxiety. This is not an actual anxiety attack. But like, you ever go to bed and you're just like, oh man, what happens when I die? Like, bro, when I was a kid, I would go to bed and I would think, what happens when I die? And I would start getting so nuts because I'm like, well, either there's heaven or there's not. And if there is, then fine. But if there's not, then what happens? It just stops and there's nothing. So what's not living? It's the absence of living. But what is that? But it's not even not living. It's just nothing. It's not even, it's, you know, it's just this. But like, what the fuck is that? And then I would start to, my heart would start to beat. And then like, I stopped doing that because now I know better. When I start thinking about that, I just stop myself from thinking about it. And I just start thinking of something else, anything, Tetris, whatever pops into mind. But then it's like, oh shit. I still let myself go down that rabbit hole sometimes. And I'm in my forties. Oh, I guess I'm worried about death. I guess I am. You know, your parents get older and you see it happen and like then people start dying around you and then like you're th in your 30s and like or 20s and you know, the first kid from your high school, you hear he died in like a car wreck and you're like, holy fucking shit. You know, that happened a while ago. Somebody I died at, when somebody in college died and then it's like, oh fuck. I'm really rambling and I'm sorry and I'm just too hungry, man. Whatever. I love you guys. Um, and it is what it is. But uh, yeah, have uh, have fun in your life. 
<laughs> and have fun and live each moment to the fullest. You know, whatever the fuck to say on a poster. I appreciate you. That's it for the YouTube episode. If you want the uh, rest, the uncut episode, uh, go to patreon.com slash Chris uh, and you'll do that. And uh, it's great. And you can also catch all the other episodes that, uh, that we shot already, uh, and the, the extra episodes for the month, uh, for each month. There's like 30-something of them, maybe 40 even. But appreciate you guys. Thanks. Thank you.